the freshmen told us that uh, after film review they need to work on their defense. Would you uh, would you agree with that assessment? I just think that's the whole team, not just one guy. I think you talk about incoming freshmen, they're just different style, different system, more than anything, the level, the play, talent. Certain things you get away in high school, you're not going to be able to get away with at this level. So, not that they can't play defense, just going through it. And they played against a fast paced style team, team in Florida Southern, so it really helped those guys to lock in defensively. But it's, it's no different than the veteran guys taking pride in defending, being on your line, being up your line, boxing out, weak side defense, all those things we talk about. But it was just good for those guys to get a game under their belt to really see it and get a good gauge. Coach, what's that first film session like for a freshman after the game when he finds out that you, know, you really can't hide from the camera? You know, the thing about it, uh, and I got to tell the guys all the time, and watching film, that's when you become a better bat a better player because you have to see it, you know, grow, go through it, grow from it, and continue to learn. I, I think for those guys just seeing it, because, you know, you walk away from a game, you 25-point win, it's like, man, then when you lead a film session, we didn't play very well, you know, so, but it, but you got to learn, and that's the best way for teams to get better. We got to go through it. Antonio, any, any update on him? He looks like he's out here getting, maybe doing uh, a we'll, we'll see today. Uh, he'll get up and down a little bit more. I'm not sure how much he'll do 5-on-5 five five in practice. We'll get a little more from him today. Guess you mentioned, I saw you tweeted out about the uh, ESPN 30 for 30 coming outside. Did you get a chance to, to talk with those guys at all while they were here? Well, I, I texted back and forth with uh, Ernie and, and Burton our tech, just text back and forth, just how you're doing more than anything uh, throughout the year. Not necessarily anything specific, just how's it going. Hope your team's doing well, your family's doing well. That's about it. <laughs> Exhibition game, obviously, and it's easy for a lot of people outside the program to overlook these guys. But as for you guys, as the way you start the season off, the first one you're going to be expecting minutes from to run, how important is Thursday night as kind of final pressure? Well, both of these teams, these exhibition teams, one in Florida Southern, who Link Dolan is my college teammate, but because they score the basketball and get up and down the floor really well, but not only that, they do a great job of not turning the ball over. So we want to put a team that can really get up and down and run. For our guards, I mean, you might not have got as much for our big guys. But now when you're talking about Southern Indiana, they have traditional big guys, two or three or four maybe guys that are big and physical around the rim. So it helps our big guys in playing against a team like that. That'll be physical, they'll defend, they'll play hard. So two good games we feel like our team will be equipped to play as opposed to just playing somebody you win by 100 points. Well, when you got Antonio still out, how much in terms of one to run, how close are you guys to knowing what that's going to look like and how that's going to go? Well, it's, it's really what we do in practice every day. We don't change what we do in practice. And now what happens is just moving guys out of their traditional positions as opposed to Jordan McCray moving off the two spot, Josh Richardson, so they handle the ball more. But it doesn't change our, our, our game plan, our schemes, and how we go about it on a day to day basis. Because Darius, he probably didn't push it up as fast off the dribble as Antonio, but he passes up and gets to the points he needs to get to. Help having Xavier this early on the schedule for you guys. In terms of, I know it's always about motivation and, and one game at a time. Does that, that in the in the mirror kind of help you? A bit? Well, I think it's just help having a good opponent. You got to go in locked in a road atmosphere. So in most cases, teams are really locked in on the road. Uh, should be a great atmosphere. I think our guys will be ready to go. They will play the game. Are you also open or any concerns about that? Not at all. It's basketball at the end of the day. Everybody has to start at some point. For us to just get out and play basketball the way we know how to play. The bottom line, put the ball in the rim and stop them from scoring. Start with a team like that, a big team like that. Well, there's two, two reasons for us. Uh, one, I feel like it's the best time to play those guys. Uh, and I thought we were mature enough as a team to really be on the road to play. But at some point, we had to plan. We didn't want to get bogged down in a lot of part of the schedule and playing those guys with some of the other teams we're playing against.